If you're traveling to Spain, regardless of where you're coming from, you need to fill out a health form. It generates your personal QR code that you'll need to show for entry into Spain. I've received a lot of questions about what information you'll need, so here's how to fill out an FCS form to travel to Spain. Before we fill out that form, since June 7th, requirements on entry into Spain have changed a little bit. So if you want to know more about those, click on that link above. Remember, you can only fill out your form within the 48 hours before your flight. I recommend waiting until after you've already done the check-in online because you will need that seat number. In order to complete that process, what you're going to need on hand is your passport or travel documentation, your flight information, and one of three certificates. Proof of vaccination, a diagnostic test result, or recovery certificate. It's five easy steps and after you finish, you'll receive a text message and email where you can download that QR code or you can do it directly from the same page. Remember to have that ready at the airport and without further ado, let's get to the computer. All right, so you're gonna come to this first page and basically you're gonna have to put in some basic information. And what this is gonna do, it's going to send you an email with a code that will later let you access the form. So you can see the information that you have to put in, a flight number, an arrival date, and then your email. And here you have the option if Spain is not your final destination, and also, if you're any parents traveling with their kids, you have to click that box. And then it gives you the legal information here in terms of why you're filling this out, what that all means. Of course, you have to agree to that, say that you're not a robot. And then you hit send, which will generate a email code for you that you need to put in in the next step. So I'm gonna go in and put in all of my information and I'll see you in the next page. Real quick, before you send out that email, they give you this reminder that you can only change your name and your surname once you've submitted this. So what you need to make sure is that all of that information is correct and then you can continue. The next thing you need to do is put in that security number where you can copy and paste or they have a link in the email that will take you directly to where you need to be. Once you're in, that next page is gonna ask for your general information. You can see right here, you just need to fill that out and continue. Step two is gonna be your flight information and where you're staying. So you need to know and why you can't do this until two days before is because you need to know your seat number and then you have to fill in where you're gonna be staying when you're in Spain. Step three is all about your travel history and it's just gonna ask you where the origin of your trip was and all of the places that you've been in the last 14 days and the reason for your trip. Step four is the health questionnaire and you can see it's mandatory for entry into Spain. You have to answer these questions. The first one, have you been in contact with a person that has been confirmed case for COVID during the last 14 days? No. Select the type of certificate you have, the EU digital certificate or other. So we've got other. You've got the reason for your certificate. You've got those three options. We've got vaccination. And then you need to fill out the information that you can find on your card. It is important here to remember that the vaccination schedule needs to be at least 14 days before you arrive in Spain. And then that last step, step five, is the affidavit. I promise that if during the 14 days after entering Spain, I present symptoms of accurate respiratory infection, fever, cough, or breathing difficulties, I will isolate myself at home for the place of residence, conducting self-monitoring of the symptoms of the coronavirus, and I will contact the competent health authorities by telephone. I agree to carry out these indications and measures that the health authorities indicate. I hereby confirm the veracity of the information provided. And then you have to click obviously that you accept. Now you can see right here what it says at the end is your form has been saved successfully. We appreciate the time and spending it. Remember to download the QR code onto your mobile and directly you'll get a code sent to you on your mobile phone. You should also get an email as well with all this information so that you can download it and you can have it ready when you get into Spain. You can see that you even have a link to download it just in case. The last part is just a reminder that you need to have the accrediting documents to get into Spain, and then anybody under the age of six doesn't need those. You click finalize, and you're done. So now you're prepared to fill out your own personal FCS form to travel to Spain. If this video gave you any sort of value, remember to give it that thumbs up and subscribe for more videos that'll get you better prepared for your next trip. If you do have any other sort of questions, remember you can leave those with a comment below or check out the playlist all about travel to Spain in 2021. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.